What about sexist or racist comments? Same thing, exact same stuff. I had a friend who said, someone said to her, you're dating a black, and she said, he is? <laughs> it's coming from the same place, it's the same stuff. They're just using, why, why is sexism or racism so powerful? Because we feel so strongly about it. So if you really want to push your button, that's a good place to start. So if somebody says you know, something nasty about your race, you say, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. And then move on. How sad that they are not more evolved at this point, right? Other thoughts. I would hope you would take these activities back to your kids in your classroom. Teach them to use this stuff. I always told my kids, okay, now I've given you some tools. Get out there and get put down so you can use this. <laughs> They'd come in the next day and say, nobody will say anything nasty to us. <laughs> it's funny, when you're armed and ready, often you send out a different vibe. But you know what, teachers? I found the same thing was true in my teaching. That when I was ready, when kids would say, this class is boring, and I could say, oh, I know, isn't it? Pretty soon they don't try that anymore, because it just doesn't work. I would say, oh, save that for Mr. Simpson's class. You know, and they'd be like, ah. And you might get that, ah, perfect. That means it didn't work. Let it go. Okay, so what about the bully? Would you raise your hand if you've seen the movie Bully? Wasn't it upsetting? Oh my gosh. But, but to me, well, there are two upsetting things. First of all, that this one little kid was being so devastated by the bullying. But the second thing was the ridiculous way the administration handled it. And I think parents are demanding something be done about bullying. They want it all to stop. That would be nice if we could do that. So what we need is just a loving society where nobody sees anything nasty go on. But be sure to tell Donald Trump, because she was having a TV show and somebody said, who have you got? He said, I've got this one woman who's going to be on my show. She'll be really good because she's really nasty. You know, a lot of the reality shows play on nastiness. So until we get rid of that model, I'm afraid we're still going to have some bullying going on. But the second part that was so disgusting about this movie was that the administrators did nothing. So what do we need to do with the bully? Well, parents want the bully strung up or put in stockades in the public square. Now I would tell you the bully must be consequenced if we hear of it, if it happens around us. There must be a consequence. Consequences with empathy. If you hear it in your classroom, you just say, welcome back when you can be kind. And then I would go out in the hall with that kid and say, help me know what's going on in your life that would cause you to be nasty to other kids. So we always have to consequence it and then we get with the kid because what do we know? It's coming from the kid's pain. So something is going on with that student. Please don't misunderstand me. I'm not suggesting that we wipe out all the bullying and say that's okay because the kid's hurting. It is not. There must be a consequence. For example, if it happens in the cafeteria, then the sad thing is the bully may not eat in the cafeteria for a week until he can be kind in the cafeteria. If it happens on the school bus as it did in this movie, then the child will need another way to get to school other than the school bus. Walking would be a wonderful option. Winter time, hope you have some good boots. Okay, so there must be a consequence. And then we get with the kid because the kid is hurting. Are you with me? Okay. What does, if the kid who is bullying, if it comes from fear of inadequacy, fear of rejection, what is the greatest antidote to the fear of rejection and the fear of inadequacy? Unconditional acceptance. So what we need is to build a strong relationship with that kid. Help him know that he is lovable and acceptable. Often the kids who need to feel that the most are the kids who are the least lovable and acceptable. 